Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, it seems like the Russians are uh, running drills with Europe, especially Germany, and try to get amused, you know, with no gas this winter, so they can prepare, they can practice. Ah, uh, man. You know, it, it's. I think it's funny just because these guys, the population, elected those leaders who shot, not themselves, the population in the foot. That's why it's funny. Yeah, you think gonna you think you thought you're gonna put sanctions on Russia without even thinking that it's gonna aggravate your your uh, situation with the gas. But we can talk about that in a minute. This article comes from the Insider from July 11, 2022, and this is the title: Russia's turning off natural gas supply via or via a key pipeline to Germany for maintenance today. <laughs> maintenance. Europe fears the shutdown may be permanent. <laughs> yep, the Nord Stream, I don't think it's gonna be, but we'll find out. The Nord Stream 1 pipeline carrying natural gas from Russia to Germany shuts on Monday, which is today. The key pipeline, pipeline is, is shut from July 11th to July 21, 21st for scheduled maintenance work. Europe is waking up to the possibility that Russia may not turn the supply back on. That's a possibility. We'll find out. Russia is turning off a key pipeline carrying natural gas to Germany for annual maintenance on Monday. But unlike previous years, Europe fears it may not come back on again. And I'm quoting, everything is possible. Everything can happen. German economy minister Robert Hab Habeck told Deutschlandfunk radio on, radio on Saturday according to Guardian translation and I'm quoting again it could be that the gas flows again maybe more than before it can also be the case that nothing comes describing it as a nightmare scenario Hab Habeck said Germany needs to prepare and deal for the worst case scenario per the Guardian so this is the opportunity the Russians gave to you. So you practice. This is drill. This is not a real event. This is a drill. <laughs> the rest of Europe is also bracing for a permanent halt in Russian natural gas supplies from the Nord Stream 1 pipeline after its scheduled maintenance from July 11th to July 21st. The pipeline carries 55 billion cubic meters of natural gas each year from Russia to Germany and beyond. French Minister, French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire told an economic conference in southern France on Sunday to prepare for the most likely scenario of a total cut-off of Russian gas, and he said, "Get ready with coal and get ready with oil." I posted uh, a video regarding this issue yesterday. Russian state gas giant Gazprom has already cut flows to Germany via the Nord Stream 1 by 60% from last month, citing an equipment holdup in Canada, which is true, as a result of sanctions over the war in Ukraine. This is true. Canada said over the weekend it will waive the sanctions and return the repaired turbine in question to ensure continued gas flows in Europe. Europe depends on Russia for 40% of its total natural gas needs, from cooking in homes to firing power stations, and most of this is delivered via pipeline. Reduced gas flows in Europe now would impact fuel storage ahead of winter, Ooh, when demand is at its highest. The German government is now calling on people in uh, earnest to save energy. Some landlords in Germany are already rationing hot water. Meanwhile, Berlin has turned down the temperature of its outdoor pools and the city of Cologne has dimmed street lights after 11 p.m. That's when you need them, according to the Financial Times. Habeck suggests taking shorter showers. Yeah, why not at all? Don't take them at all. Just go pfft like that. <laughs> Germans shower for an average of 10 minutes, he said, he told Deutschlandfunk, according to Reuters, and I think even five minutes is too long. What if I do it for zero? Will I get a medal? Uh, Germany, Europe's largest economy, moved into the second stage of its three-stage emergency gas plan last month after Russia slowed supplies 
to the country. It, it's the, if the situation worsens, the country may start rationing natural gas in the last of the three-stage plan as outlined by Germany's economy ministry. Under the country's energies, uh, emergency plan, industry would be first in line to supply cuts. The move could devastate the economy and lead uh, and lead the job lo losses, Germany business leaders and union have said. Germany's top union official, Yasmin Fahimi, is it Germany or? Yeah, Germany's top union official, Yasmin Fahimi, said earlier this month, entire industries are at risk of collapsing permanently due to the drop off in Russian natural gas. That's what you get for loving me yeah this is uh, what it is that's what it, uh, you get from uh, cutting uh, the placing sanctions on Russia what did you expect and uh, besides a lot of these things are the Ger Germany tries to get rid of Russian gas so I guess the, the Russian gas uh, the Russians are just helping them a little bit you know just ahead of the curb you're ahead of the skis um, we'll see the thing is this this is what I, I suspect Yes, this is frightening what's going on right now, but since it's the pipeline, uh, you know, one and it's not the second one, right? The gas pipeline, then uh, obviously these guys are waiting for the, um, there's a Nord Stream pipe one, Nord Stream one, the Germans, I was about to say, the Russians is a, say, okay, it's the right time now before we place the turbine and since we are 40% running capacity let's shut it off do the maintenance we're going to install the turbine by the time the turbine comes in two weeks I'm guessing they try to install it I don't know how long that would take a week a day a month and then start everything clean nice and main, main maintenance uh, uh, completed the turbine is done you know like let's say you have something uh, you work on I don't know I, uh, and then you you want to take the piece and change it and then you say okay while i'm at it you look at and fix other things or clean it and then you put the piece back i think that's a normal behavior for a person who does this kind of things but for these guys who uh, feel that the russians might do that and they might really do that maybe this is just a uh, a hint and uh we'll see i don't think they will do i, I don't think they will they will i don't think they will withhold um, gas going to Germany unless Germany you know says we don't want your gas or you know I don't know how it's paid now on rubles or in a, a different uh, currency nevertheless I don't think the Russians would say okay we're done with that or maybe they can do that but I would give 5% that the Russians will do that I think the Gazprom will still supply how much the German want and um, on the other hand it depends on what's going on on the front if uh, the things go bad for the Russians, they might try this tactic, obviously, to uh, you know force the Germans to cry louder to the European Union and to the Zelensky's handlers and sponsors to come to the negotiating table. We'll find out. I'll keep you posted. Very interesting here. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.